important things about the posts that I just made in my story. First of all, lab reference ranges aren't normal ranges, right? We've talked about this. You've heard me talk about this so many times. What's really terrible and probably the worst reference range ever on labs are testosterone values for women. And when you're looking at testosterone, you have to look at free and total testosterone, not just total testosterone. Usually labs are using uh, postmenopausal females <laughs> when they're calculating testosterone levels for women. And there's also a lot of misunderstanding in the general medical community about testosterone in women in general. I was taught in medical school that testosterone is actually dangerous for females and then I got into practice and did some extended learning, did some research and found that testosterone is actually our most abundant female hormone. Why does this matter? Bioidentical testosterone is protective. It actually prevents things like breast cancer. A lot of the research coming out now, they're finally figuring out that one of the reasons we have so many instances of breast cancer as we get older is because we don't have enough bioidentical testosterone. Why don't we have enough bioidentical testosterone? It's an adrenal hormone for women. So by the time we reach our 30s, mid 30s, all of us are adrenally fatigued. I see it every single day and testosterone is one of those hormones that's just gonna be in the toilet by the time you get there so by the time you get to you know 60 50 60 it looks like you don't have any and then you have these labs that are basing reference ranges off of the averages of patients going into the lab and it throws off the algorithm it makes it look like everybody is not supposed to have testosterone low testosterone is not just a male problem it's, it's an epidemic amongst women as well the other important note about testosterone when it comes to bone health and preventing osteoporosis and actually reversing osteoporosis, which is possible to do, stop taking the Fosamax or the Alendronate or, you know, there's just those drugs basically that are supposed to help with estrogen. Estrogen is not the problem when it comes to testosterone. Estrogen is stored in our fat cells. As we get older and we enter into menopause, we should have trace amounts of estrogen even coming from our ovaries to some extent. And that is helpful for preventing bone loss. So it's still very important, but testosterone rebuilds bones. Pretty phenomenal, right? So all my women who come in with these DEXA scans have been diagnosed with osteopenia. I put them on, on either testosterone, bioidentical testosterone, or I give them DHEA. You can increase testosterone if you know how to dose DHEA correctly, which is always gonna be higher than you think you should be dosing. It's just, it really ticks me off. I like that post because it's true. Like if this was a male problem, there'd be all of this money and all of this research behind it. They'll find a way to monetize and make money off of testosterone therapy for women. Someday it's coming, but for now you gotta advocate for yourself, right? Which is why I'm on here and why I'm telling you.